Hello guys, this is Mauro from Infotech.com and on this video we're going to look at the features and changes included on Windows 10 build 17661. This is a new test preview for Windows 10 version 1809 expected to release sometime in October 2018. Now let's have a closer look at the most worthy improvements in this release. Starting with build 17661, Windows 10 is introducing a new experience to take screenshots using the new Screen Sketch app. The screen sketch was a feature of Windows Inc and now Microsoft is breaking the feature into an app that can be updated through the Microsoft Store. With this app you can take screenshots, annotate them and share them with anyone. To get it started you can click the snipping button on the top left of the app or you can also use the uh, Windows key Shift S keyboard shortcut or you can even click the new screen snip button on Action Center. From here, you will see at the top the tools that are available to take screenshots. You can use the rectangular clip. You can use the free form clip option. Or you can take a screenshot of the entire screen. If you're not using the app when you invoke the tool, the capture you take we also create a notification on Action Center that you can then click to open the screenshot with the Screen Sketch app. In the app you can use a number of tools to annotate the screenshot, including a bullet point pen. A pencil and highlighter. You also have an eraser and a ruler that you can use with any of the other tools. In addition, there is even a crop tool if you need to resize your image. Of course, you'll, you get your undo and redo buttons. Once your screenshot is ready, you can save it, copy to the clipboard, or share using social media, email, or nearby devices. If you want, the keyboard settings page also now includes a new option to switch the print screen button action in the keyboard to take a screenshot using the screen scratch experience. If you're using a pen, the pen and Windows Ink settings also includes a new option to take a screenshot using the pen button. In this page you will even find a new option that allows your pen to behave like a mouse instead of scrolling or panning the screen. And that's pretty much all that's new with the new screenshot experience for Windows 10 build 17661. On the settings app, the sound settings now brings the device properties to the settings app experience. If you now click the link in the input section, you can now change the name of the speaker and you can select the audio format that you want to use on your computer. If you click the link in the output section, you will take into a page that doesn't include options, but you can change the name of your microphone. On Windows 10, build 17661, Focus Assist now will turn on automatically when you're playing any game in full screen, but only if when I am playing a game option is enabled. And that's pretty much all that's new with the settings app in the latest preview for the Redstone 5 update coming in October 2018. On test view, there are not a lot of changes, 
but the background now uses a soft blur effect but a fluent design called acrylic. In File Explorer, as you can see in this picture, it is now possible to right click and rotate HEIF files and you can also right click and select properties to edit metadata information for these type of files. If you're not familiar with, with HEIF files, HEIF stands for High Efficiency Image File Format and it's just a container that improves quality and compression and other features compared to JPEG, GIF and PNG files. There is an update for the emoji panel that makes it simple to choose skin tones for emojis. Also, the handwriting panel now includes a delete button in the top level menu. Also on Windows 10 build 17661, the Windows Defender Security Center has been renamed to simply Windows Security and everything about the app continues to be the same. However, Windows Security will now show threats and actions that you need to take more clearly. Finally, in the out-of-box experience when you're installing Windows 10, now includes a new page that allows you to enable Activity History Sync part of timeline. And that's all the changes with build 17661. Also, I just wanted to mention that Microsoft has recently published build 17655, but it doesn't include any significant changes. The only thing new was a new mobile broadband USB class driver for devices that support SIM cards and USB modems. Also check out the link in the video description for even more details about the latest bill for Windows 10 version 1809. Remember to like the video and leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet, and I just hope this video was informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.